guys, welcome back to another video. So today I wanted to talk about basic shaping tools, something to get you started in the beginning. So this is the video especially for those of you who are just starting out, learning how to make jewelry by yourself, starting with silversmithing and I hope you will enjoy it. If you're new to this channel make sure to subscribe. So yeah, without further ado, let's go. The most basic tool in any jewelry making technique will be something that you probably already know and that's pliers. There are many different ones in different prices as well and I would definitely recommend getting a few ones in the beginning for sure and that would be flat nose pliers, round pliers, cutting pliers and ring bending pliers. And there are many more but these are just the most basic that you will be using constantly and also when you're getting flat nose pliers I would get two sets of them because especially with jump rings or small pieces like that you might want to use them in your both hands it's just so much easier next very important tool especially when you're thinking about shaping rings or bangles will be mandrels and there are different ones so for example we have a metal mandrel for rings very good one although i would recommend probably getting one that has sizes on it so mine's plain you can't really see the sizes so when i make ring i have to shape it on here first then check the size on my ring sizing mandrel and then shape it back again on this one. Um, you could save some time by having a mandrel that already has the sizes on. Another mandrel will be a mandrel for uh, shaping bangles and this one is actually a round one. I also have another one which is oval and again just the basic tool to help you shape a perfect mandrel also these two came as set so that was a very good value for money really happy with them now you have to shape your ring or bangle or anything else with something so hammers very basic jewelers tool and there are again different ones for different jobs and projects so i only have three hammers at the moment i am just about to get more and different ones so basic jobbing hammer or ball pin hammer would be something to get you started um, get something that's uh, flat on one side round on the other side and you're good to go although don't get this one so this is a silver line very budget hammer from amazon and i regret that i got it it's a rubbish i would definitely go for something um, maybe slightly a bit more expensive but something that will serve you for years another hammer which is great because this one won't uh, leave any marks on your metal and it's absolutely necessary when you want to straighten your metal sheet or you want to form a bangle or a ring is rawhide mallet this is a smaller one but as you can see it's it's still quite large and it was perfect for me so this is the one i have and it lasts quite a long time and a new addition that i purchased quite recently is just this cute little tiny hammer so this um cute little hammer has different attachments so you can change them around and it, i just use it mostly for hammering and leaving different textures on my metal but it's very nice <laughs> and it was super inexpensive. I think it was even an add-on on Amazon. So something that is so cheap that you can't get it by itself, but you can get it with a bigger order. So something to look for. If you're cutting discs and you need to create your own charms, for example, this will be the tool for you. It's a disc cutter. So as you can see, it cuts discs. <laughs> there are five different holes in here, five different sizes. Today, if I was going to get one, I would go for seven hole, but this one's also really great. And as I mentioned, if you want to make your own 
like tags or uh, small charms that you want to stamp on them later. This tool will help you to do it all in-house. And another tool that is very helpful with shaping, it's a steel block. I don't actually have a steel block by itself. I'm using my bench peg and anvil. Actually, this anvil part serves me as my steel block. It's quite large, as you can see, and I use it as my steel block. So, yeah, if you don't want to invest in two different tools, then this is something good in the beginning. And the last tool that I think may not be obvious shaping tool, but it does shape metal, essentially, is the saw. <laughs> so, you cut your metal with it, and you can cut different shapes so you are shaping your metal in some way thank you so much for watching today's video this is everything for today i hope you enjoyed it if there's anything that you would like to know or i left out leave it in the comment section below like this video share if you know people who might be interested and i hope you will be back for the next video soon thanks so much again for watching take care bye